Hey there, great to see you back. Here's a quick session about designing your calculations and format them so that it represents best the way you want to communicate them. And so, this is a summary of what we're going to do. We're going to change the font type, color, and size for the math regions. Then we can configure the results format, show trailing zeros, along with changing the display precision, restyle labels, and also arrange the equations to fit nicely in our paper. The first example shows the terms for calculating a simple interest. We have the principal amount, the rate per annum, and the time in years. And then here on the right, we have the most basic formula for calculating it. We don't need advanced calculations in this video, we are just going to see how to present the information and how to format the math regions so that they look nicely when we want to present a report or a document or a presentation, for instance. To this purpose, we switch to the math formatting tab and we add some format to our formula. We need to click on it so that MathCAD recognizes the region that we want to format. We could change the font. The font size can be increased from these two buttons or decreased, or we can add another value here or switch to a certain value from this setup. For the font color, we can choose something else and then we can also highlight the background for this math region. To change the result format, we could transform it from general to decimal, scientific, engineering or even percent, depending on what's more meaningful to our given problem. For now, we're going to leave it as general. If we want, we can set a number of trailing zeros that we want to display and maybe then change also the display precision. When it comes to printing or publishing the document, we may want to see a uniform color for the math. MathCAD recognizes labels automatically, so it makes it easier to locate and work with them, as in the case of euros, marked with a blue color and set as units for currency. To make everything consistent, we can change their color to black and the process can be reversed by clicking on Restore Label Style. Same for the formulas we're formatting, we can remove the format in one click for one selected formula or for a selection or even all formatted regions straight away by using clear format. In the second example, we have a very large formula that can't be covered in the page view and reducing its size wouldn't be the best solution since now we cannot see it very clear. Let's get it back to the initial size and then since it exceeds this limit, we need to switch to the draft view to entirely see it. Therefore, it would be better to split it on multiple rows instead by using the equation break operator located on the math tab. We can split the formula from a certain point and click this button and then it all fits nicely in our worksheet. By opening the operators panel, we can see that this can be used for operations of addition, subtraction, multiplication and division and you can use it as many times as you consider necessary and you can, of course, undo your actions. Note that equation breaking is just visual and it doesn't impact your calculations. Lastly, to show once again how the display precision behaves, let's increase the number of decimals in this result. We go again to the math formatting tab and change it from here, since we can set it up to 15 decimal points. 
Thank you for your time and I invite you to check the rest of the short videos on the channel.